Last year, we had a simple idea. Hey, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> we created a skating trail going from the back door down the hill and onto the hockey rink. It was faster to get the rink that way, and we added a jump just for fun. <laughs> Coming through, Hayden! It was a little bit dangerous, a lot of fun. We got some epic shots, but there were a few problems with the trail. Let's go. The first problem is that the kids were absolutely terrified of it. You want to try? No. Mason? No! I don't live here. For first thing, I thought it was a really dumb idea. <laughs> and I thought you were injured. The second problem is that our techniques were pretty primitive. We made a lot of progress. Yeah. Because this is not going to be skatable. <laughs> this year, we have one week to complete the trail in time for Mason's birthday. We're going bigger and better. We're going to start at the driveway, around the house, down the hill, but this time take it past the hockey rink and into the woods. We got to make it so the kids can skate it and we have to find a better way to get this trail down. So in this video, we're testing some techniques. So we need water to make the trail. And typically you hook it up to a hose, but I want to make a trail way back there in the woods. And if we have a hose, well, we're going to need a lot of it. And chances are it's probably going to freeze. So I'm going to do a mobile trail making rig. Let's get to work. While Hayden destroys my dasher board trying to create the ultimate trail building device, I'm also trying to think up a way to create something better than a hose. The problem with the hose is that it knocks snow all over my trail, giving me frozen ice chunks. Let's see if we can do any better. Let's see what we got in here. That is gonna hold my water. This is gonna go right there. Oh yes. Cargo straps. You're letting out all the hot air. Sorry. <laughs> we got it neatly organized. Holy jump, this thing is huge. Oh, the hacksaw? It's neatly organized right here. Nice dull hacksaw. <laughs> yeah. I need to take uh, like two weeks off of uh, YouTube and just clean this place up. Hey, that's where that baby gate went. Honestly, if I, if I just took like one. I'll just get this skill saw right yeah, down. Like how comfortable are you with a skill saw? <laughs> Lose a finger, that's you. That's you, not me. Where did my cargo strap go? There we go. Really simple. Perfect. There's too much snow. Face first into the snow. Let's see. If only you had a nice easy sled to maneuver. A little bit of weight on that. You do a few, that's not, that's not doing anything. It's literally floating right on top. Oh, maybe, I think if I load this thing up with some weight, it might, might work. While Hayden and I mess around with garbage cans, cargo straps, dasher boards, and whatever this is, a new challenger approaches. I do have to get water to come out of here. I think I gotta drill holes. I don't know if I really wanna drill a hole in this. What the heck is this? Jeremy, we got a four gallon a minute hot pressure washer. <laughs> we got a 13 horsepower engine, our pressure pump, and a big diesel burner. We're going like an NHL player versus Tykes right now. I'm gonna put a, a bucket of water in the back of a, a wagon and this guy shows up with it. Where'd you get this? Well, you know, you gotta play with the tools you have, right? So what does it say, it heats the water up? Boils, yeah. You can heat it and go all the way past boiling if you want. And uh, nice. yeah. Just so, steam the snow? Well, <laughs> just it'll melt it a little bit and then hopefully freeze okay. and. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the type of tools we're working with here. So we have Hayden's dasher board turned. <laughs> snow surf board. It's supposed to pack down the snow. It looks kind of dangerous. And to build ice, Andrew's bringing in the big guns, a hot water pressure washer, a lot of hose, and a homemade spray buggy. 
interested to try that. Of course, we have a lawn roller, and we have this, which I'm convinced it's, it's gonna work. We'll try it out. And of course, we can't forget the tried and true, my nicely organized homemade Zambones. Now, are we gonna go with large or extra large? I have selected the XL option for you. It looks like the boys are ready to roll, but let's just take a second to talk about this lawn roller that we rented from the Home Depot. What did they uh, say to you when you picked up a lawn the roller? The guys look, he looked at me, he's like, what? I'm just like, yeah, you know what? I'd like a lawn mo a roller for your lawn. Uh, and he's like, all right, I'll get it out the back. <laughs> it's negative 20 out there. We do not want the hoses to freeze. So this is what we have to do. So what I want is just get antifreeze through all the pressure lines just to give us time to lay them out properly yeah without freezing right you know i just cut a board and i'm gonna stand on it i think that was a bit easier while we're getting the hoses ready what do you think is the best way to prep the snow do you think one of our packing techniques will work best or should we just snow blow it out of there it looks like there's some gunk built up in the hose sorry i had a rough night of drinking jeez <laughs> That reminds me of the last time I went to Taco Bell. It's like it's coming at all three holes there, man. <laughs> it's like green, orange, and brown. <laughs> That's the bad night rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, test this uh, roller out. It's doing something. Let's say th this is the uh, the snow blower. Not full compaction, but all right. So what's the plan? I roll this, you roll that behind. Oh, All right. You know what? It's, it's working. Like, yeah. Like it's way faster than what we did last year, I have to say. 100%. <laughs> and like, look at this spot where I went over like three times. Oh, yeah. And then after that, pretty much just hose it, keep hosing it down. Yeah. Maybe a few more passes. We're going to be done in an hour. Not <laughs> in, in a Jeremy hour. <laughs> like to build our trail as fast as possible, we need a clear path. We haven't decided whether it's better to roll it down and pack it or to snow blow it out of the way. The problem with snow is that there's too much air in it. So if you put water on, it's just gonna run right through. I'm sinking into the path here. Uh, and the path is over here. <laughs> So we're trying to decide, should we pack it down with the roller or maybe try another technique? I'm interested to try this one out. Freaking brilliant, a genius idea. <laughs> yes. I have solved all of your problems. Exactly. So that's the, the uh, real ticket is you with these and that, right? Yeah. actually doing a good job. Hey, and these are actually doing a pretty decent job. I think they have the grip on them and it's it's spreading the snow. It's creating a nice base. Genius. Okay, hear me out. You strap on these boot stompers, grab the buggy, walking backwards, you compact the snow with the boots while flooding it with this sprayer. I think that might be it, except for one problem. Stomping down that hill and then up it. Probably would have been better just to have you ride the crazy carpet down a few times or get the kids and keep sending them down to pack it down. Uh, my $10 worth of uh, outdoor grade duct tape uh, failed me. <laughs> and now we're a one boot stomper. Really? Duct tape failed you? I got the premium stuff, man. And I used half the roll. Yeah, this is definitely solid. This is, yeah, but like you said, about day three. Of what it was last year, yeah. Right. <laughs> this is solid ice now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it does make sense to uh, to clear the snow first. I yeah. I mean, I feel you need a little bit, right? Because if you melt it down to the grass, is that well, gonna... Well, I didn't, uh, I left like about an inch to yeah. the snow blower. But then the two, water two inches. melts it a bit. But, but I don't know, you can still flood on it, like with the misting. You can, but I think when the sun hits it, it'll just create those pockets. It's better to have that white base, like uh, this, right? right? But you know, I'll just drag some snow across and then flood. As you go, Throw the powder it's like uh, the refs when they're patching the ice on the thing. You exactly. see them grab the snow and water it. Yeah. Flower, throw a little flower on there. <laughs> Get your little snow bucket. Yeah. I think it'll help smooth it out as well. Right? Like we have like some crusties here. And oh, like high and low. Point. 
right now. I'll just yeah. yeah. A little bit like this. I think it's uh, safe to say there isn't a speedy way through the trail. Yeah, I know. We tried nearly every technique possible to make an ice trail and some were better than others. Each had their pros and their cons. Hayden's idea was good, but it's hard to compact. So much fluffy snow. The boot stompers were good if we could secure them to our feet and it wasn't easy to go uphill. The roller, it worked great. A little bit too light though and it collected a lot of snow as well. At the end of the day, we found the fastest technique was to clear most of the snow at the beginning, leave yourself about an inch to work with, and then pack it down, however you find is the best. We do have a few more tricks up our sleeve, so hit the subscribe button to see how this technique works. After we had the path packed down, we just had to put some water down, so we used this technique, but next up we're going to try this method. I built this for my hockey rink, it's a PVC pipe with holes drilled in it and a towel dragging behind, works like a charm. We made a lot of progress, but we still have a lot of work to do. So we are gonna spend the night in a tent in the woods and work 24 hours to complete this trail. Remember, we need to lay down 400 feet worth of trail into the woods and get this ready for Mason's seventh birthday party. Hit that subscribe button to find out if we can pull it off in time. Will it get so cold that all the hoses completely freeze or will the trail get completely buried in snow?